welcome back to Exoria. I have learned something between episodes, and that is that it's rain on this planet. The second is that the rain is very dangerous. I think it's acid, so it's it's poison you. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you a thing I found when I was searching for more materials, and that's. I stumbled upon a small cottage or a house. This looks more like Botania style. Uh, you have some mana spreaders and some nice pure daisies and a waystone. So we can easily go here and some drums. And these are the flowers itself. And look, see, look, see, some things. Yeah, perhaps we need to go back here and check something out. But let's take some resources for now. And uh, that may come in handy. We aren't going to explore Britannia just yet, so we'll leave the other things. Anyway, I'll uh, just pick these ones up. That. Some more rocks. There we go. Okay. Uh, to get back here, um, do like that. Water. And one other thing I would like to show is that just beside this one, there's another one. Uh, it's quite random where, where they spawn, so I shouldn't think it was so. Oops. No, not falling to this one. Ah, uh, they shouldn't be so common, I think. Looksy, looksy. This one. Okay, I can travel. Uh, this was already activated. Did I do that before? Anyway. So that's just just what I wanted to show you before heading back and continuing on our little quests. Yeah. Back at the base, and it has started to rain. I wonder if the trees grow any faster with this. But if I go out in the rain, well, I have reduced to a half heart, but you see, it's like I've been poisoned with this rain, so. <clears throat> Luckily, it doesn't bring me below. Whoops, uh, half a heart, but. Uh, it's not good for your health anyway. So I have built a little roof and a room and moved the things inside so I can work while it's raining. Okay, so where were we? We should make a room and then we should make uh, mud. We have mud and we have done some drying racks and then we should use the drying rack and the mud to make terra clay clumps. So let's place this ones. Uh, closed room. Okay, I need to make a door. So uh, let's make a simple wooden door. No like this and there we have the door and now we can just close it and then be able to place our drying racks like this great and the drying rack have place for four blocks and now they are drying and it seems that I can only use access this inventory when the room is closed but I think it will dry even if the door is opened or oh, I guess or not we'll see I need yes it worked anyway but Let's close it off and then we have some terra clay clumps. 
Great, so next up, proof over my head. I will probably stay for a very long for very long here. I need a roof over my head. The easiest building material I have access to is probably some cob. And what's cob then? Cob. Uh, it seems to be some earthworks. And you can do it by terra clay, mud and a dead bush or uh, some leaves and clay and terra clay and 40 of those so I have some of them I have mud and I have I can do terra clay like oops like that and we have some leaves or perhaps no yeah it need to be. has to be leaves Okay, then let's get some leaves. So, where were we? Earthworks. Earthworks. The first one, okay. So, not fiber, I can use leaves instead. Yep. And that makes eight. So, I have some trying to do to make more mud first we need to more, more make more dirt and then mud and then clay so I'll be back a bit but um, perhaps we can also look at the next quest and that is the strain your ears I think I can get some mud with this one I think I saw some clean water nearby. I haven't seen any animals on this planet, but maybe there are fish I can catch. I don't have the resources for a fishing net yet, but a simple strainer would work as well for now. For that I need something like a wooden hopper that can store caught fish, then I can build strainers out of them. I have to do some research how to different positions in the water will get more yield. Flowing water, water source, distance between strainers and water height. Okay, so, um, and different tights the twines are, I'll get different resources. So first the two wooden hoppers, and then two strainer bays, and then some strainers. So let's start with the hoppers, uh, wooden hopper. There we have them. Uh, I have a chest like there already, but I need. Hello, thank you. I need more, but I have. Remember, I should perhaps. Yeah, I'll be back in a bit. I need to rearrange my <laughs> my inventory. So, I needed to have some more dirt to find the mud. So, I went down a bit and uh, dig myself down to underground and found this cavern system. So, I light it up. It doesn't seem to be any mobs so far, but I don't want to wander into the darkness. Uh, one other thing I did was to head back to one of the, uh, the houses I found and pick up a waystone. So my idea is to place this here and to like say underground or something. And then I can travel here and fetch more basalt since this is the thing I need to get more dirt for the elven trade. So I'll collect some and head back up. So we are back at the portal um, and let's throw these bustle inside and we get loamy dirt. Uh, 
and let's make some things out of it. All this dirt, let's pile up and just search for mud. Get some. Let's split it out so we don't get our inventory full or the hot bar active. I'll just I'll just I'll just get some more dirt and be on with the rest of the tasks. So we are back at the drain rack and we are ready to to make the cob complete. And we need some dead leaves, mud and terra clay to make cob. And there we have 40 cob that's needed. Uh, when this is done, I can do the beginners first. But first, we need to do the strain your ears task first. I have completed the wooden hoppers. I went to the Botania house and grabbed the chest there. So I didn't need to make more. I also got some nice shelves so I can build some more shelves. Uh, for the time being, I'm quite it's enough for me but um yeah the strainers that's another story strainers strainer base we need the wooden hoppers another chest and some planks and some sticks so I'll grab the chests I took and then we can make two strainer bases like that one. Did I miss something? Ah, some sticks. Let's make some sticks real quick. And now we can make the second strainer. Now the birch. Okay. Ah, uh, the planks need to go back there. And make another strainer. Great. Strainer, when these are done, we need to make survivalist strainer and the dense one. So in order to do that, we need some twine. And I think the normal one is just placing, oops, not that one, like that. And the dense one is to make like that. And that are the nets. And to make the net into a strainer, we need a bunch of sticks. So let's make some. I think I need 16 sticks like that. And it's easier to do like this to make the dense one and the normal one okay so now I get this efficiency meter uh, and to use these strings then we have the strainer bases and we have the strainers themselves so in order to use this fellas we need to find some water and I think we had some water, didn't I? Close by. So we had some there. And we have some over there. Uh, that one seems to be the closest one. Just over the head up on the edge over here. I'm quite weak, I don't have so much health and not so much food, so hopefully we can catch some fish. 
in this little place. Here we have the motion streams. And from what I understand, the streamers are efficient if they are water. Um, perhaps not still water, but running. Um, and if the strainers are not too close to each other. So if we put one here, the strainer itself it occupies a block below, and the strainer net then uh, is placed on top of it. So let's see the efficiency meter. We can, yeah, plus 10. I think that's the best we can get. A plus 10, and then we can place the strainer net inside like that. And now, this now it gets some lead ore. This will the normal strainer will get some metal ores, and the other one will get more fine grained items. So, let's place another one. Uh, let's say here and place it right there and put the strainer inside like that. So it's more dense. Let's see what we get. Get some dusts. Okay. And more ores and rocks. Okay, so these are way to get some resources without harvesting ourselves so this is quite a good way oh well, here we get some duro clay we don't need to dry mud I'll get clay instead but here we got a fish so a fish well it's raw perhaps we can cook it and um, get some more uh, things. Oh, sapphire. Uh, I think I'll head back and yeah. Next task is this one, a beginner's furnace. So we need some cobblestone um, and then we can build a furnace. Okay, so I'll head back and uh, let's see if we can do like this. Home portal. Let's get back. We need to move this home portal. That is quite bad placed. Running around like this. So, well, first, let's try to uh, combine the rocks. What did they say about uh, cobblestone? Cobblestone. Rock and some clay. Okay. Well, I have some clay been cooking over here. So let's get this one. And I have a bunch load of rocks. So I think we can make some cobblestone with that. Yeah, that works. Works fine. So, and then, let's make a furnace. I think it's just like a normal micro. And if I hack this up, yeah, it's turning to rock. Let's make some more of the... Of the lomi dirt and mud. We need to try some more mud. And um, it's better to use the, the question mark so you don't, you don't fail that hard. But this, the, the mud is drying quite fast anyway. So it's not so much fuss. Come on. Yep. Let's make one more. Is this a shapeless recipe? Yeah. 
Great. So let's make the furnace. That. The furnace. Does it have any restrictions? Yes. We need a room, a closed room, like the drying racks, but 40 need to be exposed. Cob. Okay, so we need to place the cob somewhere. Perhaps in the ceiling. Could be nice. I don't think I will cover that one up. So I'll create some place the cog up here and let's see how that goes. There is the result, cob in the roof. Okay, let's see if we can place the furnace now. Should we place it like perhaps here? Yeah, that worked. So in order to do this, let's place the fish here. And then we need something that could burn. Perhaps a plank. And we need to light it up. So let's place the plank there and then the fire starter. And the fish is cooking. I wonder how long this will take. Great, could cook some more. So let's eat some fish. And that will give us some protein. Look, 50%. So, well, that didn't, didn't get so much food. So we need more food. Uh, but we did begin this furnace, so next up is the light it up. Okay, well, the fire starter is very important as I can now make charcoal, but it's not easy. The strain is good, should give me the materials I need. I can make a charcoal pit, I need to cover the log pipe with loam on the other side and light it up with a fire starter. The bigger, that's probably the better, and then of course wait until it's ready. So, wood piles. Wood piles are done with normal wood blocks, combined into four like that. I think I accidentally made some wood piles when I pressed K while hoovering the wood like that. Yep. So wood piles, now we have that. And then we need some loam. So next step is to go back to the strainers and see how they go. So it's a trick over here. And perhaps we got some new fish, so we can, we can run a bit now. I have s stamina. Uh, let's see how it goes for the strainers. What did you find? Loam? We need loam. Uh, we also have mud. Gold. Great. What did we get? Some fish. Yes, clown raw salmon. I think that you can cook clownfish, perhaps. What can you do with clownfish? Um, can you cook it? You can dry it, okay. 1.5 proteins, that's good. I wonder what you could do with the rotten flesh. Can you eat that? Flesh. Uh, you, can you, you can dry it. Okay. Monster jerky. Well, that's good. 1.7. It's even better than the clownfish. So, and this I have a lot of. So, if I try that one, I have a lot of um, food. So that's a big leap forward. But I think 
the low business. How much should I have? 16? I think I'll, this will cook for a while and uh, perhaps make some monster jerky. And I really need to move that portal to a better place. <clears throat> I always see the roof from the upside. I don't want to fall to my death. Uh, monster jerky. I have a lot of rotten flesh. Let's dry the clownfish as well. And while that is drying, let's. I have some place in my info crate. Let's um, move this portal. I was thinking perhaps I should place it like somewhere here. Would that be nice? Yeah, first we need to fetch it. So let's pick the parts up. A new pickaxe for the, this one. And this one. And this as well. Uh, this will break any minute. It worked that way. <laughs> Let's pick these pieces up. And since I have the Botania one, it will be easy to get it working again, just reassemble the complete structure, just at, at another location, so it's up, let's check here, where we should place it, hmm. perhaps I should do it right here in the middle, that could be nice. I think I'll do that. We'll end the world, but if I do it here, it will be outside the So, we need the um, gateway corner, the Greenland woods, the living wood, pylons, and somewhere I think it should make it more visible and perhaps we need to make another shovel if one more is okay and let's place And 
Activate the portal. Great, so now we have the portal more closely and we can just pass it if we would like to. It isn't harm. Makes no harm. And then let's place this one perhaps. I think we need to have it on the roof. Here we have home. Activated. Great. So now we have the home and we have the portal more closely. Ah, this is no good place. I think I move it about a bit further down this way. Home. Just blocking the door too much. Activated. Great. So, how does the food business go? Dry jerky and dried clownfish. Is that any good? Let's try it out. Great. Let's make some more food. Now we are full. That's great. I don't need the wand. Ah, uh, let's see how it goes with the, the loan business. I think that the fire pit is going to be the last quest for this episode. And uh, Let's see if we have some room. Ten. I'll be back in a minute when the loom is complete. So, now the strainers gave me the loom I needed. Um, I needed to replace them once, but um, it seems that they are growing. Or, or um, they are emptying quite fast. So we need to get more twines and replenish the strainers quite often. So to the this point to make the wood pile or charcoal pile, we can place some layer of wood piles like this, and then cover them up on the sides and on the top with low. And leave one square like that, and then use the fire starter to light it up, and then place the load on top. And you can see the particle effects of the uh, wood pile burning, and this will take quite a while. And when it's done, you can see it by the particle effects. It doesn't work. They are done. So. This this should spread to the other wood piles soon, and it will make this wood pile into charcoal and ash. Uh, so I think I'll end the episode here. So this time we went through the cob thing, completed. We made the strainers and we made the furnace. And we have begun with the light it up task quest. So uh, now the complete group I'm burning. So until next time, have a nice day. Bye.